Hey gamers, it's G from the corner, and I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love Animal Crossing. I love the series so, so very much, and I've had a craving to play some for the past little while. Obviously, it's been since New Horizons, since I've really sat down and played through an Animal Crossing, you know, day to day. Um, so I thought, hey, you know, I've been kind of meaning to go back to the original one. I picked up a copy at a local game shop um, last year. So I thought, why not finally, you know, boot it up? And hey, you know, why not do like a whole little video series on it? Just to record myself playing the game. You know, the usual, the usual stuff. Um, it's going to be a bit of an odd series. Uh, I'm going to be doing some of these with live commentary, others with post commentary. This is post commentary. I've recorded all the footage and I've seen all of this already. I'm just talking over it um, later after the fact, like what, two weeks or a week after I record this. Um, but yeah, no, we're gonna be, we're gonna be giving this a shot. Um, I had to adjust the clock when I booted it up, because for some reason, this GameCube, uh, I guess the clock died. I have to do that every time I boot up the game, actually. That's something I did not learn until after recording this. But right now, you know, we're just going through the intro bits. Um, Rover is asking me, you know, what time it is, what, where, what my name is, all that stuff. Um, this is a very cute little train. I like how uh, Joan's there. We're not going to be seeing Joan too much in this series because I cannot get up at Sundays uh, to do this this stuff early in the morning. So there's your little Joan. Of course, G. Name's G. Um, I will say this is probably the worst um, town naming I've ever done because, I don't know, I just, like, was rusted. I started doing this and I realized, oh, yeah, I haven't thought of, like, a town name whatsoever. I think the town name's coming up right now, right? Or is he going to ask me uh, the other stuff? Should be the town name right about now. You know what? Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, so I really did not know uh, what to do for this this time around. So I kind of just went with the first thing that came to mind. And I was like, all right, uh, Pleasant. There you go. I, I don't know. I just kind of was thinking, what do I do? Let's do this. But I don't know why I have a hard time spelling plus. There we go. There we go. Yep. I was gonna do like Pleasantville or something, but uh, no, I'm just gonna do Pleasant. You know, I think it fits. You know, whenever I hear the villagers say this town name as I've been booting it up, it's uh, it's felt right. So, yeah, we'll stick with it. I don't really see any issue with it. I'm going to Pleasant. Yep, that is correct. Hey, I know that place. Pleasant is one of my favorite vacation spots. Yeah, Rover just says this for every name, obviously. And then these questions are obviously important. Um, they determine what your village is gonna look like. I had a guide open. I'll be real. Uh, I've been looking for things to do in this game. I've actually, I've never really like fully dove in to play through the original Animal Crossing. So I kind of made sure I knew exactly what to do and how to do it for the sake of this. Because we're going to be going back to this, not like regularly. I'm not going to do one of these like every day or even once a week. But maybe like once a month, we're going to check in on Pleasant and see how things are doing. See what's, uh, what's changed, you know, has my house upgraded? Has anybody moved in, moved out? Um, it'll be a fun little thing, and then, you know, sometimes I'll even, uh, bring in some guests, and we'll just kind of shoot the shit, like, uh, like it's an Animal Crossing podcast or something. Oh, he's just talking to Nook in the back, I completely forgot he did this. But, uh, yeah, no, let's, uh, I'm excited though, we'll see how this, uh, goes. He talks for quite a while, yeah, wow, there's, I will say one thing, there's a lot of text in at least this Animal Crossing, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty in the others and I'm just not paying attention, but... For some reason in this one, I feel like a lot of the characters so far have gone on for a long, long time. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Oh yeah, just a little. I forget if that one is part of the uh, little tree or not. I don't think so. Yeah, actually, I don't think so. Or no, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it is. There's like three uh, answers, and that was one of them. But, oh, uh, well, that's, uh, that's all we're going to be seeing of Rover. He's just here for the first time. Actually, easier if you board the train and go to another town. So if we do that later on during the year, we'll see him again. But, yeah, that's all. There's oh, I forgot porters in this game. There's two porters for some reason. One driving the train and one talking to you at the station. But, you know, whatever. And there's my guy wearing that ugly, ugly checkerboard design. I really hate it. It looks so bad. And don't worry, we get rid of it very quickly. But, yeah, here's Pleasant. Oh, and here comes the man himself. Tom Nook, there he is. What's your name? Happened to be G? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you. Phew, am I glad you made it here in time to meet your train? I'm afraid I'm not, whatever. Yeah, he rambles. His name's Tom Nook. He runs the shop. Pleased to meet you. Yes, yes. 
it's you know he's a, he's a cute little guy i always tom nook kind of has gotten like the spot like taken away from him actually not even really this was an opinion people had back when new leaf was like the big animal crossing that tom nook was no longer as pivotal to the series as he once was um but no he's still he's still got it he's still very close now especially in new horizons they kind of make him the face again he runs all the resident services he runs Every, the way he runs everything. He runs the show. He runs the whole deserted island getaway and everything in uh, New Horizons. Yeah, th so that's one of the weird things about this one. I'll be pointing a lot of that out as we go along. The GameCube Animal Crossing makes you pick from like one of four houses. They're all the exact same. They have like just different tiling and like a, one piece of different furniture when you first get them. It's really weird. Um, I, do I waste time going through all of them? I'm pretty sure I do. And I don't think I cut the footage, so... Enjoy. Yeah, look, there's this one that has a bunch of metallic wall. Did I like it? No, I didn't. Just stupid. Um, yeah, I wow, do I really do go through all these? Uh, enjoy! The red one. Did I go with the red? No, I went with the, uh, the left one, which I think was blue. I think. Alright. There, yep. Nope, not feeling that one. I think I just go, yeah, I go with one more and then call it, um... It's such a weird system. I mean, like, the way it works is that you can have up to four profiles on a memory, on, like, or on the Animal Crossing memory card specifically, I think. Um, and so, you know, all four of you will live in the same area. You know, it's not like the other games where you pit it's a specific spot you want your house to go, or from, like, you know, one of several spots that are available for houses. It's so weird how they put them all, and the bulletin board's here as well, by the way. That's, that's another weird thing. But yeah, no, I ended up picking the uh, the top left. So the radio and the uh, the calendar. <laughs> Nick and Ever still out. He's such a funny man. Run down the house, listen carefully, please. We can uh, see the house doesn't have any furniture, anything you need. You'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff. But don't try to mess around with other folks' things. You can't really... Something weird about this game is that you can actually go into villagers' houses when they're not occupying them for whatever reason um but or actually i don't know if that was just a first day a day or two thing because i swear i tried doing that last night when i was playing and i wouldn't let me into the house this gyro will meet you truly must have you teaching messages and yada yada he's cool i like lloyd he's uh he's cool it's weird how he's the only alive gyroid the rest are all dead but whatever save everything oh yeah i know because rest Rossetti comes in and punishes you if you don't save um but I haven't seen him yet. He doesn't, I guess he just doesn't show up, period, until you make the mistake. So, you know, we'll see. I'll probably make that mistake at some point. And I'll hopefully get footage of it. No thanks. Be sure you need to, yeah, yada. Let's see, does he tell? Yeah, he talks about it. Yeah, 19,000. I don't have 19,000 bells. <laughs> that would be not nearly enough. You only have 1,000 bells? You're joking with me, yes? Why, you're so short I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Such a funny guy. You can't buy a house. You still need a place to live. <laughs> oh my god, he's so funny. He's so funny in this game. I forgot about his weird dialect. I don't think his dialect is like this in New Horizons. It's very much more just like chill and matter of fact. Like an acre A5. Yeah, in this game they kind of... The map is pretty big in this game, so they like they'll tell you where things are based on like a grid system. It's really, it's kind of funny. You actually don't get a map for a while. And so you have to like rely on the, the map at the, near the station. Yeah, here we are walking around though for the first time in this town. Yeah, no, that's, I think this is me trying to figure out where the hell the map is and there just, there isn't one. You don't have one until like about 20, 30 minutes in. Uh, there's one near the police station and there's one, oh, there's our first villager, Chuck. Hey, 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 do you know, whatever, I, I'm not gonna read every single piece of dialogue. Calm down, you don't need to be scared. Yeah, I think he's kind of a bit of a rude jockey villager. A lot of people keep complaining about how the villagers are too nice nowadays in Animal Crossing. I think he's one of the ruder ones I've seen so far. I think the frames are dipping a little bit. This is because the capture card I have doesn't want, like, for some, or it's probably my computer. Um, that literally will like piss out half it way through some recordings. Um, whatever. Oh, good yes. First of all, we need changing the these clothes. I actually kind of like the Nook uniform. I wish they had like a modern version of it. Um, but it's not too bad. I kind of think it's it's cute, especially in this game where like your clothing 
is also just forcibly put onto your character's head. Yeah, it's funny because there's like no alternate um, text options for stuff like that. Like you can write letters from your inventory, but you can't like auto put on clothes or auto put on, um, what's it called? Auto put on tools or something. You can't cycle through them either. That's classic yeah. animal. It's, it's just funny because there's just, these are things I'm so used to. My first entry was a new leaf. And obviously there's just so many like quality of life improvements made in that game that are not here at all. But this game has its own charm. The way it looks, I don't know, the, the fact that it's literally just unabashedly an N64 game on the GameCube. Very cute, I always kind of love that. And then like just, I don't know, some other things about it. It's got its own charm. So I had to find good help. What was I trying to do here? I think this is the one where he wants you to plant the flowers. Yeah, he wants, to, wants me to plant flowers around, around his, his shop. Let's get on to that. Footage, cut, there's no cut. There, I didn't cut this part. All right. Get out. Hey, look, look at how bad I am. I'm moving around. I can't even walk out here. Okay. There's a lot of them. Oh, uh, you want to. This is the real segment. It's funny how it's not like a thing in the later games, I don't think. After um, City Folk, I think they, they do stop with the whole you work for a nook for a little bit shtick. Um, and it just kind of ends up being like there's some other way they try to tutorialize you. Like with New Leaf, there's the approval rating system, and New Horizons, I think, also has an approval rating system. But, I don't know, New Horizons has more of a quote-unquote campaign than any other Animal Crossing, I think, because you you end up, like, working towards multiple things for, like, a this decent period of time. Um, yeah. Let me plant this tree. I really did not mean to put those flowers there, but it's okay, we'll just put the sapling. Um, because I think trees actually, like, will grow even if they're right next to each other in this game. Because there are, like, straight up is walls of trees. I forgot to plant the last sapling. So he gives me this dialogue again. I am so silly, guys. Aren't I silly? Just common sense. Oh, one more thing. Be sure to do it outside. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you can't plant this stuff uh, in the house. Why do I try grabbing it there again? I literally... Whatever. There we go. It's done now, though. I don't think I show all the jobs being done. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking if he chose to plan everything. I'm not the one who will get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. I mean, like, he is. Like, it's his shop. They will not know that I did this. I'm not getting credited. He bells. He just, like, takes random chunks off of the wage, depending on after you do, like, certain amounts of jobs. It ends up being, like, 14,000, which, spoilers, you don't see it here, but I did pay it all off after recording this in the exact same day. So the house is pretty big by the time, uh... It'll be even bigger, actually, by the time we get around to the February vert check-in. I forgot to interest Oh, yeah, Tort Tortimer. I haven't seen him around since I, uh, since the first day. Not sure. I know he, like, goes away in January and he, like, gets you to watch the lighthouse, but I haven't been able to trigger that. There he is. There he is. Jump cut to him. Whippersnapper, who do you respect? I think that's what he's asking. I weep for the younger generation. He doesn't really, I don't think he says anything different depending on your response. I think he just says the same thing. Yep, we're a pretty important job. Listen, good kid, yada yada. There's a holiday. Yeah, he does run all the holidays actually, because he does. There's stuff happening here, and this is kind of his main like spot. Because it's not like there's a town hall in this game. Just the center of the town with the wishing well. It's kind of odd. There's just some odd things. Like the police station is like an important location in this game. It's not, I've never even had it in New Leaf. Meanwhile, here I am just walking back. I think it was the evening at this point. Ed. My friends all hate Ed. I mean, like, I don't like him much either, but I think his, per his shirt in this game is kind of what really kills his design. He'd probably look a lot better in this game if he did not have that garish pink shirt. I should find a way to give him a new one. Yeah, the sun's on, man. I love how this game looks. Just the lighting. The, because you can't see the sky in this Animal Crossing, but the lighting just tells you everything you need to know, you know? I love it. I love how it looks. Oh, you say you've met everybody in town? Aren't you the social butterfly? I think I went and talked to some other people. Who else was even there? I don't think there was. He doesn't count the cops or the Able sisters in that. All right, off I go. To uh, they, oh maybe I did miss somebody actually. I don't know why. See, like I'm stuck in the tree there. They have to let you plant uh, trees right next to each other, right? Yeah, they gotta. They gotta. Just run around like a buffoon. Don't mind me. Oh my goodness, does this guy know how to even play Animal Crossing? 
All right. There we go. Now I'm moving. I'm moving. I think, yeah, he still hasn't given me the map at this point. Yeah, I'm just trying to go to the map to check where everybody is. Who's left? Jambet. Oh, yeah, I hadn't gotten to see Jambet. I got Jambet, so... And we all hate Jambet here. Jambet's such an ugly fucking frog. She's in my town in, um, in New Horizons as well. She's been there since, like, mid-2020, I think. Like, she was, she was one of the first ones there. So... Having her here as like a starting villager, that was certainly something. But I have Tangy. I have Tangy. I think the footage is not here of me talking to Tangy, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I have her. All right. Off I go. Where is the gem? Bam. For some reason, a lot of the times the villagers are just kind of chilling outside their house. I feel like they usually they spread out a lot more in the later games. Praying the girl you don't even know. You really startled me, but I think I'm okay now. I'm just mad. Good evening, please say hello to me very quietly. Yeah, okay. I don't think I'll be saying hello to you, period, after uh, today. But alright, I can run back to Nooks. Do I have the- Oh wait, no, there's the police station. Do I go here now, or do I just check the map? Yeah, I'm just here to check the map. Or wait, no, I am here to go in. Yeah, no, the police station's a weird thing. It's kind of a lost and found, more than anything. It's not like the cops are doing any, um, any criminaling, any arresting. It's really just an area where you can go get stuff and like sell it. I think I show the police station very briefly later on in this uh, bit of footage. Oh, there's another one of our villagers, Dizzy. Yeah. This is pretty great. You know, it's a very quaint town. Very excited to see it change and grow as the uh, the year goes on. Cause I'll probably, I'll be checking back. Oh, Gwen, that was another weird one. I think I had once or twice. Yeah. No, nah, but I'll be be sure to do this at least until the end of the year. I think we might cap it at, like, the uh, December 2024, but, you know, who knows. Uh, there's a new Animal Crossing. I'd love to do this uh, there as well, but we'll see how things go. What can I do for you, hon? Oh, yeah, I'm present. You see all the fruit trees? Love to see the fruit trees. Love the, love the fruit. Fruit doesn't sell for much in this game, actually. But, you know, like, a lot of things don't sell for much, but a lot of things also aren't that expensive either, aside from your house. Furniture isn't too pricey, food's not food, because if you collect food to survive in Animal Crossing. Like, you know, everything's relatively cheap, relatively speaking. Where am I going? There I am going. Okay, I'm on the bridge. Back to Chuck. I'm just going back to Nooks. I really put in the whole bit of me going to Nooks. I don't think I, there's a cut coming up. I'm not sure what it is. Into Cranny. So did you meet everybody in town? Quite a mo motley crew. Motley. What the hell does motley mean? That is some 20 year old lingo if I've ever heard of it. Motley. I don't even know what that means. Holy hell. Take this to Chuck. Ah oh, yes, delivery time. Okay. Yeah, so now Nook just gets me to do a bunch of deliveries for the rest of uh, the jobs I have with him. There we are in... Nope, this is Dizzy. Oh yeah, there's just another one. Literally, I skip a few now. Uh, evening, any tips? I didn't mean to talk to him. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't for him. Maybe it was still the Chuck delivery. Definitely not. I'm not going the way to Chuck's house. Oh wait, maybe it was. It probably was. Yeah, I love the GameCube Animal Crossing. If it's uh, it's very again like visually, it's just so distinct compared to the other ones, cause it's so like it's not a, like Wild World where they're trying to make it look better than the original, but it like can't. So it kind of looks a bit chunky and weird. This game is like very much like a low end game running on the higher end hardware. So it just kind of like it's running. I think it runs at sixty. So it just kind of looks really like smooth, but it, like it shouldn't be here, you know? Like it's out of place, but not out of place. I think the lighting is better than it was on 64 as well. So that has something to do with it. And there's Chuck's delivery. I don't know what took me so long. He's right here. He lives right next to Nook's. Oh, a mortgage, I understand. Let me tell you something. It's generally a good idea to have money before you buy something. Mortgages are valid. People mortgage everything. I had a conversation with somebody about this a while ago. Mortgaging, even stuff like expensive goods, is like totally valid. I don't know, you know, in 2000, I mean, obviously, obviously they wouldn't have dialogue like, hey, dude, don't be a stupid idiot in like New Animal Crossing, because everybody's so like vanilla and chill and that, which is fine. You know, New Horizons and New Leaf have their own benefits that like 
you know, don't really, like, it's not a big deal if, like, the villagers aren't making fun of you in Animal Crossing. I don't care about the villagers that much, but in this game, you know, it's kind of its own, it's, it's the charm with this game. This game's all about those villagers, those, like, 70 villagers or something. All right, now back to Nooks. At this point, what have I done? Welcome back, worker bee. You delivered the furniture. You did a good job, so that earns you two- Like, see, he keeps giving the numbers, and if you're smart, you can, like, actually figure out how much he's taken out, but in the end, you just have to pay 14000 There we go. Yeah, it took a while, but we finally got the map. To write some copy for direct mailing. That's right. We have to go to the post office now. Is Phyllis in yet? I don't think Phyllis is in at this time. I think this was recorded at, like, 6 p.m., so Phyllis might- not be in yet. What stationery is he giving me? Post office mail letter. You'll find the post office in off area A2. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And now I'm going to run out. And we're going to do an immediate jump cut to me being at the post office. In three, two, one, and boom. There we are. Like and subscribe, everybody, for more epic Animal Crossing GameCube tricks. Oh yeah, gotta love it, gotta love the promotion. I think like Dizzy ended up showing me that letter later. Okay, that's just Pelly. Yeah, that's another thing, the post office isn't a thing in uh, like New Horizons. You just, do you send letters from the inventory or do you do it from Dodo Airlines? I forget. But yeah, no Pelly or Phyllis because of that, which I mean like it's fine. Like, you know, there's a lot of features in older Animal Crossing that are like cool, but I don't really use them very often. So seeing them not be a thing in like New Horizons doesn't actually bother me that much. You know, where am I off to now? Back to talk to Nook, I assume? It's so, you know, man, because I started recording this in, like, early evening, and then I think, like, the last bit of footage was done at, like, 8 or 9 p.m., so, like, you get to see the sunset in this game, which is really pretty. It's so, so pretty. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're back to Nook's. So, we're back out of Nook's. Uh, that was a weird jump cut. I don't know why I did it like that, but you know what? Yeah, this is just me helping Ed out with something. I think he, um... I think he dropped um, somebody's glasses case. So I gotta go bring him back to them. This is great. Just running around. A lot of running around in Animal Crossing. That's how it goes, you know? The more things you have to do while running around, the better. <laughs> it was Tangy, right, it was Tangy. Mm -hmm. Now I remember. Or, oh wait, no, 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 it was Ed's glasses case that he had left with Tangy that I'm gonna go give back to Ed now. la -dee da So fun. Do I just say screw that though? I think I say screw that and go to Nook first. Or not. I think I just make a mad dash for it. Why did I? Yeah, no, it's weird. It's weird. There kind of ends up being hidey holes a lot of the time with the way they design this. Like, if you look at the map next time I, pr I prop it up, you'll notice that there's kind of like towards the left side of the map, there's like a big nook like that you can't get down from the big nook itself you have to go from another way it's a weird design and this is before you can build bridges or anything so i'm kind of stuck with this design which is interesting so what is it Ed? Well, not, it's the thing that you asked for ed remember like literally 10 seconds ago that's it that's my glasses case this guy does not wear glasses like what a liar what an actual straight up liar pathological liar even how about some stationery? Thanks, bro. That'll sell me, what, 100 bells, maybe? Woohoo. So exciting. Definitely gonna help with my future loans. Let's just go back to Nooks and uh, get this over and done with. What's the next thing he asked me to do? I think it might be the, uh, the bulletin board, which is the last thing. I don't know. All right, Nook, what do we got here? Are you able to help anybody out? Did you get anything good? The critters are fairly generous, so your work never goes unrewarded. That is true. That is true. Very odd how, like, there are three dialogue options. There's the end dialogue, there's what's going on, and, like, the first one, any favors I can do for you. Like, I'm surprised that's such a, like, forefront thing for, um, for this stuff. I forget what he even, I wasn't even paying attention. What was he asking me right there? I don't know. Guess I'll find out where I head off to momentarily. Woohoo. Hmm. Great stuff, guys. It must have wanted me to deliver something to someone specifically, if I had to guess. 
right? Jambet. Okay, yeah, it was Jambet. 5 p.m. It's only 5 p.m. Wow, I thought it was way later. Yeah, that's the thing. Sun just sets early in this game. It's actually funny because, like, you know, in my mind, the sun will end up setting at, like, 3 or 4 p.m. Or, like, 7, 8, or 9 p.m., depending on the time of the year. But, like, because it's, like, uniform in a game like Animal Crossing, you know, it'll always set at, like, 5 p.m., which it sounds normal, but it's like, oh, yeah, shit, that's not usually what happens around here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm sounding very silly, um, but whatever. Well, Tom puts out new products daily. Why am I telling you this? You work for him. If you pay attention, yada yada, you might miss the perfect pattern. That's right. You buy clothes from Nook in this game. The Able Sisters solely exist for you to display your own patterns, which is very odd. Uh, no, no clothings to buy. There are no hats or any. There's no hats. Period. In this game, if you're stuck with either the uh, the little horns hat that I'm wearing, if you play the boy villager, or the like just a regular hat with like long curls of hair sticking out if you're playing as the girl one. It's very weird. Making my way to the shop. Making my way to the shop. I don't know why I got stuck by the wall. Yeah. What does Nook have to say now? Probably getting the hang of things. The way you work, I'd be happy to have you on full time. In any case, it can see you bring a lot. Of yeah, yeah. 580, okay, cool. I am dizzy. Yeah, now it just gets a bit repetitive, but you know what? It's fine. Sure, whatever, whatever. You gotta get your best shot until we're done. All right, cool. There's another cut coming in. I'm gonna skip this job and go straight back to Nook now. Never mind. this is me writing the bulletin board, which is the final job that Nook asks you to do. So we're almost done with the job stuff, guys. Woo! Farts. Yeah, that's fair. Back to Nooks again. Nice long walk over to Nooks. I went up here because I got lost and confused. Uh, I don't know, it's too big. It's so big. The area is so big that like you think that, okay, this is like the top of one area. There's totally enough space for the bridge to be here. No, it's not. The bridge was up, was down there. One thing that's kind of weird about this one, I didn't show it, but on the title screen, it's always a different like see scenario it's never like actually your town it's just some like random villagers in a random town every time you boot up the game which is very odd but you know what at least it lets you see different seasons uh, at different times of the year booked off 17 no wait what that's okay i guess i was wrong it was 17,000. but i did pay it all off by the end of the first day it's just not it's just not all recorded here it's not to sell, just talk to me, I'll give you very fair price for everything you got. That's pretty true. Uh, Nook's prices in like something like New Leaf, you kind of want to avoid because retail just sells for better on literally everything, for whatever reason. Pretty small, I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yes. Well, thanks for helping see that. Yeah, 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 okay. Cool stuff. Yes, I'm finally done working, I'm free, I'm free. Yeah, for not for long. Anyway, another thing, I forgot the Able Sisters were even in this game. I'm gonna be honest. I, cause you know, you see clothing for sale at Nooks. Here they are, it's the same as like always, honestly. Like this is exactly what their shop pretty much always looks like. But you know, it's just, um, just design patterns. That's all there is to really like sell or buy. I mean, it's not even, what, what's, I mean, your funds. I'm sure, I'm curious what the hell that's even for because it's not like I'm buying anything. You only have eight designs here, and then eight designs you can display at the Able Sisters, or kind of store at the Able Sisters in a way. So that's something. I think I wear this for the rest of the video. I'm not 100% sure. It's nice though, I like it. You know, I want to make some patterns to use in future videos. We'll probably do that at some point. Oh, my claws are full. Uh, usually what happens is you keep talking to her for like eight, nine days in a row and you unlock, you hear her backstory and you unlock something, but I'm not sure if that's the case in this game. Because I don't really know what you would unlock here. There's no pro designs, there's no QR code scanner, there's nothing like that, so I have no idea if I'm being honest. Whatever. Well, let's get out of here. But yeah, that's kind of neat, honestly. It's cool that they were here even in the beginning. And here's the museum, you know, same as literally again as it ever was. 
The design is basically identical to what it looks like in all the games, aside from maybe New Horizons. I forget what the intro looks. No, the entr yeah, the entrance is kind of redid and designed in that game for all the stores, but like, you know, the basic premise is still here. This museum's really small, though. I forget if I walk around it on the inside, but uh, yeah. Let me. No, I do not right now. What's weird about the museum is that you can't donate fossils directly. You have to, like, mail them to get them assessed and then donate them. Snowball, okay, that's one thing. So, for the winter months, um, January, February, December, you can find two or three snowballs in your town a day, and if you roll them up, uh, you can make a snowman, and the snowman will give you things. I have not successfully been able to do it yet. Um, I think I try a little bit here, but this thing either gets crushed or falls in the water. Yeah, one or the other. Crazy stuff here. Crazy stuff happening. Do I, do I, when does it break? Oh my goodness. Is it gonna break yet or what? It's been taken way too long. Run in the back, run in back here. What the heck? All right, I guess I just leave it, I don't know. And now we run up here and I know what's coming up now. Oh, whatever, just going, <gasps> an igloo? I forgot these were in this game. And it's weird because they're in um, something like Animal Crossing u -Leaf as well, but they're a part of the campsite, so yeah, sometimes these just spawn in the overworld. Um, I think that it's always, actually, I think they spawn every day in like a different location each time. And like, you know, a different villager will own them. It's really nice. They're really, really tranquil and chill. I'm gonna actually hang out in one of them because I never really played New Leaf in the winter months uh, very much. So, you know, this is like my first time getting to hang out in one of these in Animal Crossing. It's really, really cozy. I really like it. Very lovely. But yeah, there's not really much to see there. Back on the grind, we can see that... Anything of note? Is there anything of note at all? Let's open the door and find out. Whose house is this? This is Jambet's house. Very odd. You can't turn the lights on because it's not your house. But yeah, this is where she lives. Freaking gross. Absolutely disgusting. Why are there so many gyroids in here? Very weird. I don't like it. Yeah, no. Of course it was her house. And oh! Who is this? We've cut ahead a bit. Probably like two hours. Um, Gulliver! I showed up on the first day. I was very surprised about this. Um, you just talk to him a bunch and then he'll give you something. And it's always like a very rare exotic item. It's not like in later games where he like ships it to you the next day. You actually get it right here, right now. I'm pretty sure it was the Merloin statue I got, which is pretty cool. Would I dress this way if I weren't? Although it is a pretty cute outfit, isn't it? Shut up, you little seal pelican man. Or proud and noble bee. Read. Nah. You saved my life and I must thank you for saving me. Seedy looking merchant, but I was at a port town. You won't find another like it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know, he usually gives you cultural items um, in like, I think New Leaf and New Horizons. I think it's the same here. He gave, he gave me a Merloin statue and I know, the, I know those are in like Singapore. So yeah, I'm assuming it's, it's the same case here. But yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I'm back in the house. I think we should just give a little room tour. I should do it. I think this is when I drop in the, uh, yeah, the glow clock. This is already outdated. It has a, I mean, obviously the uh, the room's bigger. It's got new furniture in it. But uh, yeah, no, this is the the room as of now. You know, it's funny because like I play New Horizons and I've never once actually moved furniture the like regular way. Um, literally, I've always done it by just entering the God mode, and it's very convenient. It's a very nice feature, but there's something about just pushing furniture around a room like this in Animal Crossing that will never get like old to me. It's very cozy and very nostalgic feeling. I love it. Look at this Merlin. He's terrifying. Scary, scary man. Now I'm uh, about to find an Animal Crossing staple in a very convenient spot of Money Rock. That's right, those are in this game. And they're very cool. Uh, it gets you like 16,000 bells. 
per day if you dig it out properly, which I managed to do. And so that actually kind of got me almost to where I needed to to get the uh, the loan paid off just like that, I think. And now here's the police station. Every item here is lost, even I don't know who owns these items. Who could take anything, I think. He's very, very much the lazy cops archetype right over here, Booker. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. But yeah, there's just like furniture and clothing here, and this is always a great place. This and the dump, which is very weird place again. Great to come by for, um for furniture though for stuff to sell because like what, what's here i think there's like an odd clock and i ended up taking it out i didn't like it so it's just something to sell to nook which is extremely extremely useful i gotta say arctic camo i think i wear this actually i think we're gonna end the vlog wearing this right vlog. <laughs> the journal let's play whatever you want to call it check in wearing that okay i guess that was that um Let's, let's leave now. I think I go to the museum to wrap things up. Yeah. This has been going on for a while already. 35 minutes. I don't know how long these things are going to be. Um, I'm down to go as long as like, as like it feels right to do. With this one, it was a lot of chopped up footage. I don't think that'll be as much of the case with the later ones, but uh, we'll see. I think I can assist you. This is when I think you can still like actually give him the fossils. And so I immediately give him the fossil and he gives me a little message. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I examined Thaw Fossil, but, like, I can't do anything with it, you know? So silly. So, so, so silly. Fairly confident. However, I must confess, I have yet to receive my certification. He gets it in later games. Such a weird feature that you have to, like, mail in the fossils. But I guess it makes sense because, like, you know... Like, okay, obviously, you dig up the fossils and you have to get them certified. But, like, what's the reason to it other than it's just a cute thing, right? Okay, well, you have to actually send them somewhere to get them for certified, so you can't just go to the museum and then donate it, you know? I think I get the letter the day following this, and then from then on, you can start sending letters to the far, the far away, it's literally called Far Away Museum, um, for them to certify your fossils, which is cool. Correspondence, you must not rebury. Yeah, I don't know why that's, um, that, I don't know what he's talking about, there's something bad that happens, but whatever. Sure. But you mailed them the fossils. I'm very confused. Very, very confused. Landscape. It was clear, but just you my instructions. And again, you could follow, re you could um, sell, examine fossils for pretty good profit. So, you know, if you ever run into duplicates, very good thing to do. Show your support. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for the first episode check-in of this Animal Crossing series. Again, I'm going to be coming back here at least once a month to see what's going on in Pleasant and play some Animal Crossing, you know. Very fun excuse to re reacquaint myself with one of my favorite series, but yeah, that's going to wrap things up for today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you know, do the usual, like, subscribe, comment, and keep yourselves cornered for some more content coming pretty soon.